Hey guys, uh, another video for you today, uh, a little gunsmithing video actually. Um, this is a fore-end for a Savage side-by-side -side 20 gauge that uh, my brother owns and my son was itching to shoot a side-by-side -side, and so he borrowed it, um, shot it, I went to take it apart to clean it because my brother doesn't take very good care of his guns. Uh, Mike <laughs> and uh, found out that the screw stripped out uh, out of this hole so there's two screws that hold uh, this plate in that you know has the spring thing that attaches to that holds the fore end of the barrel um, and you know screws are pretty short and instead of trying to find a, a fatter screw which is what most people would do if the hole stripped out um, I and like I said, to gunsmiths, this is probably a normal thing, but maybe to, to some, uh, you know, weekend warriors, maybe not. Uh, took a 3 8 bit. Uh, it's a, uh, I don't know what they call them, bottoming bits or whatever. It's a, you know, it's like a, I want to grab it real quick. Out of my thing here. So it's a 3 8 bit, like this. It's not like a standard drill bit. Um, I forget what they call them. Flat bottom bits or something. Drilled a hole uh, about a quarter inch, three eighths deep. And, uh, you know, make sure not to dr drill the whole way through. So measure uh, and set the stop on your drill press so you don't drill the whole way through. And then just um, got a piece of three eighths oak dowel rod. Uh, actually, it was half inch oak dowel rod, but I ground it down. Um, and then just glued it in with some uh, standard, I don't want to say standard, but waterproof wood glue. And uh, I'm going to drill a hole in it when it's dry and, um, you know, put the thing back together. My 10th um, grade wood shop teacher said that, uh, you know, a good glue joint is probably stronger than the wood itself. Um, the one thing I guess you would want to watch for, though, is if the wood, <clears throat> excuse me, is real uh, oil-soaked, uh, it may not work as well. Uh, when I drilled the hole, I made sure that the wood was real dry. There was no oil in there or anything. And um, so, yeah, that's it. Quick fix. Um, like I said, probably, uh, you know, the gunsmiths out there are going, yeah, no duh. Um, but maybe, you know, your, your normal weekend warrior DIYer eh, may be a little bit of help to you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.